I'm Finlay Hay. Um, I farm at uh, Hay Farms just outside Perth with my father David. Um, we are farming uh, 8,200 acres, uh, about six and a half combinable crops. So we were running uh, two 780s, a 2013 and a 2017 plate machine and last harvest we took delivery of an 8900 um, to replace the 2013 machine. We chose to go with a Combo Flex 1380 header and then um, also decided to upgrade the 780 to the same header, so they were both running the same headers and the same sizes. To cover the area that we're covering up in our part of the world, we were just struggling to, to cut everything with the two 780s and the 40 foot Vero headers that we, we had. Um, so we chose to go down the Convio route because it gave us more output both with our 780 and with our 8900. We reckon we're getting certainly 15% more output with our 8900 over our old 780. More horsepower, bigger drum, that sort of stuff has just really increased our output. Forward speed's much improved. And of course we've seen a big increase in output down to the Convio header, uh, both in terms of the length of the working day that we can have up here in Scotland. We're getting an extra one, two, three hours a day of cutting, and also the way the crop presented into the combine. We definitely think we're getting more out of our 780 um, horsepower because of the way it's presented into the intake system. And overall, it's just helping take out the need for that third combine for us. The big difference we've seen between the 8900 and the 780 is the sample quality. It is second to none and it's quite stark the difference between the two. We can clearly see in the store, identify which combine it's come from just because of the cleanliness of the sample from the 8900. Another great feature of the, the 8900 is how quickly it unloads. We work everything with a chaser bin so the quicker the chaser can get loaded and away, the more efficient we work and the less standing around waiting time we have. We're definitely seeing a massive improvement in terms of fuel efficiency in the 8900 as well. They'll work similar hours of the day, the 780 and the 8900. But obviously the 8900 will cut more in a day, it'll do more tons, it'll do more hectares. And when it comes to fueling up the next morning, we're seeing small differences in terms of the amount of fuel that they're taking in. So it was a huge investment for us to change a combine and two headers and the trunk of the 780 to match up with the new header. But it's an investment we feel has paid off already in terms of logistics and efficiency. Last harvest we managed the whole thing with the two combines. This harvest looks like it's going to follow a similar pattern and that for us is massive. We've been buying class combines since about 2004 and we've stuck with class all that time. We find the, the build quality, the reliability of the machines, the output, the sample, um, it just means we didn't really look anywhere else when it came to changing our last combine. It was uh, a pretty easy decision for us to stick with class and we feel like the backup we get both from Class UK and our, and our local dealership uh, makes it a bit of a no-brainer.